Hello, everybody. Welcome to House of Games Champions Special. What a soap opera. We've had already two absolutely extraordinary days, both very, very different. We will get to that in a moment. Listen, every time I press this buzzer, a new round comes up. I never know what it's going to be. My champions don't know what it's going to be either. What they do know is that one of them at the end of the week is walking away with this trophy. Our players this week, winners all, are Sarah Barron, Greg Wallace, Sanjeev Kohli, and Josie Long. Now, what I mean, I don't know where to begin. On Monday, an absolute battle royale between wow. Sanjeev and Josie, wow. which Josie won. Yesterday, yeah. the mother of all battles between all four of you. It was nip and tuck all the way through, and it was one, listen, I don't want to put shock in my voice. <laughs> One by Greg Wallace. Woo! Greg. Beautiful. A win. You must be happy with that. Oh, I am absolutely chuffed. Yeah. And uh, was... I can't hide it. I'm absolutely delighted. Sanjeev, uh, one of our greatest ever champions, but wow. uh, two days down, mm. still not a win to your name. How are you feeling about that? Well, two second places, so I kind of feel a little bit like Steve Cram. So I'm sitting in second and I'm, you know, just pick, waiting to pick my moment. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboards, shall we? Oof because it makes a very interesting reading. Greg, Josie and Sandy have all with six points there. Josie, so a wonderful win on Monday. Thank and you. it felt like you and Sandy was just going to be between the two of you all week. Now, suddenly things are a little bit more interesting. Yesterday, the buzzer rounds were brutally absent and that's my only skill. <laughs> and there was all this limerick stuff. I mean, it just wasn't for me. So I'm hoping that today there'll be... Limerick's on the buzzer though. <laughs> oh, so, then yeah, I'm... Yeah, limerick's on the buzzer. Sarah, <laughs> now, bottom of the leaderboard, but only three points off the lead. But it's half of what everyone else has. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Visually, it doesn't look good. Forget that. Okay. okay? You are three points off the lead. Oh! <laughs> After two days. There's nothing too far wrong with the that. The value of a reframe. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Here's some motivation for you. Okay. Today's prizes. <gasps> you could choose one of these. Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> Listen to wow. that. Wow. People cannot believe what they're seeing. You've got the golden Russian dolls, the golden decanter, the golden toilet set, the <laughs> golden <laughs> cafetiere, and the golden watch. What do you fancy there, Sarah? I've been needing a snazzy watch, for real. And and they say that you can like, like apparently if you want to like really work out quickly someone's financial situation, yeah. you look to see how much money they spent on a watch. And I think that will adequately represent me. Okay, yes, it will do. Uh, Greg, you won a couple of uh, lovely House of Games Golden Goblets yesterday. Mm. What would you go for today? I'd like the Russian dolls. Sanjeev? Well, I was a massive fan of Dallas when I was growing up, and I always loved it when JR came in and went straight for the whiskey decanter. Oh, and poured, so yeah. I, I, I want to feel like JR. There you go. <laughs> uh, Josie, what would you go for? I would love that cafetiere. I oh. love the shape, I love the style. Absolutely. It's got a bit of everything, hasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I genuinely have no idea who's going to win, but uh, there's only one way to find out. Let's play the rounds. First one of those is... Highbrow, lowbrow, we're going to go along the line and ask you all two questions, OK? First question would be a very highbrow question. The second one would be a lowbrow question. But the answer to both is the same. We'll give you two points if you get it from the highbrow, one point if you get it from the lowbrow. Sarah, here is yours. Who served as Prime Minister of Canada from 2003 to 2006? I don't think I know any Canadian prime ministers other than Justin Trudeau, mm. and I'm very sure he was not in that position then. So I. Th so we just pass straight to Lebron. I think we have to just pass straight to Lebron. Who presented oh. the daytime TV show Flog It from 2002 until 2020? No, so I just need to hold my hand. Like, stuff to do. I've lived here now nine years, <laughs> and there are these certain cultural references that are so... So I've never even heard of Flog It. <laughs> what? I know. So it, the issue is mine. I'll tell you, it's a man. Would you like to invent a man's name, and we'll see if it's the great Yes, one? I would. Great. Harrison <laughs> Malkovich. <laughs> <laughs> Is the answer Harrison Malkovich? It is not. Oh. Anyone else want to buzz in? Josie. Is it Stephen Harper? He was certainly a Canadian Prime Minister. I don't think he presents Flog It, though. Oh. No one? Paul Martin is the answer. Okay. Greg, I have oh. a question for you. 
Derived from playing cards, what term is used in the US for an innocent-looking cause introduced to legislation in order to sabotage it? Oh, derived from playing cards. So it could be a game or one of the cards. So, like, Jack, King, Queen, Ace... So, or I'd say Joker. Joker clause. Let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Oh, in Phoenix. Oh, wow. Plays oh, Arthur wow. Fleck in which DC Comics film of 2019? Oh. Sticking with Joker? Is it the Hulk? <laughs> <laughs> the Joker. It was the Joker. Well done, Steve. Oh, well, 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 <laughs> what a run he's on. Brilliant. Uh, Sandy, for high ground for you. Which Shakespearean character with the name of Latin origin, meaning lost, is the daughter of King Leontes and Queen Hermione? I know that French for lost is perdu, so I'm going to... Perdita? Perdita? OK, let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Oh. What's the mother Dalmatian called in the film 101 oh. Dalmatians? Oh, no. Uh, mm. Matilda, which is wrong. You're going to go for Matilda? Yeah. OK, is the answer Matilda? <laughs> it is not. Yes, Josie. I'm so sorry. Is it Purdy? It is oh. not is it? Purdy. <gasps> Purdy, that bears me so pleased with myself. That felt so right. Yeah, it did, didn't it? I mean, listen, there's a free point out here. No, don't know. Absolutely, you've been told the answer. You called out, you said it was a French something, and it was something like Padita or something like that, but I can't remember. Shall I go with it? Padita? Greg. Padita? Padita, shall we have a look? What a show we're oh. having already. Oh. 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 Two yeah. points and I got none. I yeah. thought that's what he said. Oh, oh you yeah. he did, but he changed oh, his answer. Oh, shit. Because I didn't know that Perdita would be an answer to anything else. Yeah, that would have been two points for Sandy. You've changed some oh. Matilda. And you were very unlucky there, Josie, as yeah. well, with Purdy. Uh, but it is now your highbrow question. OK. John Lanchester was long-listed for the 2019 Booker Prize for which novel <gasps> set in a dystopian world with restrictive movement between countries and conflict between the generations? This is going to blow your mind. I've read it. I uh, really like it. It's uh, called The Wall. The Wall. Oh, and I'm sticking with that. It's, it's a really good book. Are you going to stick with that with your lowbrow question? Yeah. Well, we'll see, shall we? <laughs> uh, on which book? <laughs> <laughs> uh, regularly do some catchphrase. Drop them. <laughs> the Wall. Um, yeah. For two points. Yeah. Great job. Well played. Oh, Very nicely done. Thank you. Sarah, we're back to you hey. with a two-pointer. A famous name in jewellery and glassware, which surname was shared by the entrepreneur Charles Lewis and his son Louis Comfort? A famous glassware. Should we go straight to lowbrow? Yeah. Yep. OK, your lowbrow question is this. Got the same answer. In EastEnders, which of the butchers married Keegan Baker? I don't know EastEnders. Ah. I think, I think this is not my game, Richard, and no. I need to open it up to my competitors. I mean, it doesn't look like this. Uh, Harrison oh, oh, Malkovich. Oh. Harrison Malkovich. We think it's Harrison Malkovich again? It is not. Josie. Is it Tiffany? Tiffany! Oh, oh that you... would make sense. That's what I was trying that to get to. That would make sense. Is it Tiffany? Yes. Well played. Oh, oh Tiffany. Joe, Molly, that was so humiliating. Very nice. So well done. done. Greg, a highbrow question for you now for two points. According to some interpretations of the book of Genesis, Adam had a wife before the creation of Eve. What was her name? No, I've absolutely no idea. Yep, go straight on to lowbrow. Yeah. In Cheers, what is the first name of Dr. Fraser Crane's wife? I've no idea. So I've got to go for something biblical now, haven't I? Mm. We'll have a Rachel. Is it Rachel? It is not. Sarah. Lilith. Lilith yes. is the answer. Well played, Sarah. Still the point there. Uh, Sanjeev. For two points, your highbrow question. Which archaic unit of measurement corresponds to one hundredth of the length of the surveying instrument known as a Gunter's chain? Archaic unit of measurement. Ugh. It was wrong, but I'll just say furlong. Furlong, says Sanjeev. Here's your lowbrow question, see if you want to stick with it. Who is the hero of the Legend of Zelda? Game? Oh, I'm not a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Uh Know this one at home. Just time no, it's out. not coming. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Josie. Is it Link? 
chain broken into links. <gasps> it's the right answer. Oh, no! Oh, mate! Oh, oh, brilliant! brilliant. Oh, yeah. Absolutely oh, brilliant! Thank you, I can't believe it. Nicely played, Josie. Brilliant. Link is the oh, answer. Mate. And Josie, you have the last question of the round. What is the title of Jeff Koons' polychromed aluminium sculpture of a plastic pool toy which sold at auction for over $6 million in 2013? Oh, that's... I can see it, but I have no idea. So I'll go for Rover's Return? Because <laughs> oh, then if it, if it was, it would be so good, good yeah, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Here's your lowbrow question. In the TV series oh. SpongeBob SquarePants, what type of animal is Larry? A shark? Is it a shark? Not, Sanjeev. Is it a lobster? Lobster? Ah. Correct oh. answer. <laughs> well wow. played. Very nicely done. Surprise. Love a bit of SpongeBob. That was a brilliant round. <laughs> that really was so much going on all in one round. Well played, everyone. Let's take a look at what is done to the scoreboard. Sarah and Sanjeev, you have one point each. Greg, you have three points. And Josie is our early leader with four points. Well played, Josie. <laughs> and our second round today is... All in the details, a pairs game. The player in the last place chooses their partner. Sanji, if you're tied third today, who would you like to play with? Well, I've not played with Josie yet, so... Lovely. I'll stay where I am. Okay. Sanjeev and Josie okay. are a team. Greg and Sarah are a team. For the show, you all filled in some clues to do a bit of history. And now you've got to guess the clues of your partner, OK? So, Sarah, oh. before the show, Greg had to fill in some clues. They should lead you to a discovery. So, an historical discovery. And here are your clues. They were discovered by, according to Greg, scientists. Machines that use them are located at, according to Greg, hospitals. And in comics, they are used by, according to Greg, superhero site. Which historical discovery is that? X-rays. Yeah. Yes! yes! Come on! Yes. Very well done. <laughs> Discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen. Used in hospitals, airports, all sorts of things. And, uh, yeah, used by Superman, used by all sorts of different superheroes. Wilhelm Röntgen, well done to him. <laughs> Sanjeev, yeah. uh, before the show, Josie filled in some clues. Oh, OK. And these clues, if you follow them wisely, will lead you to a person from history. But which person? She was born in the country of, according to Josie, India, maybe? She has been awarded, according to Josie, being a saint. <laughs> and... Her real name was, according to Josie, Mrs. of Calcutta. Oh. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. I knew it wasn't India, but that was yeah. the only place. Yeah, well, no, but that, but that would lead you to the right, yeah. Her real name was Onyes Gonya Boyace. She did become a saint. Uh, she's got a Nobel Prize as well as sainthood. She's born in Macedonia. Oh. Ah, there you go. Greg, before the show, Sarah filled in some clues. And hopefully, they will lead you to identifying an event, an historical event. Which one? It occurred in the year, according to Sarah, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> the monarch at the time was, according to Sarah, Victoria. And your final clue. The most famous person involved was, according to Sarah, Guy Fawkes. Well, you could confuse Victoria with another monarch, which I think would have been James the First. But Guy Fawkes, it's definitely got to be the gunpowder plot. Gunpowder plot? Correct. Absolutely right. I mean, we might as well have just said Guy Fawkes for that, mightn't we? Yeah. And, uh, and we'd have been uh, It occurred in 1605, and the monarch was James the First. You're quite right, Greg. Uh, and James the Sixth. And the most famous person involved was Guy Fawkes, yeah. Josie. OK. Before the show, Sandy filled in some clues. And they will lead you to an artefact, historical artefact. But which artefact, please? It is, according to Sanjeev, <laughs> a lot of metres long. OK. It is made of, according to Sanjeev, 
papyrus. And it is located in, according to Sanjeev, oh, okay. Normandy. Oh. Oh, it's, it's got to be the Bayer Tapestry, right? Oh. Bayer Tapestry? Yeah. Is the right answer. Oh, very well. oh, nice. I'm not sure of any of those facts. I mean, the part from the first one. 70 metres long, made of linen rather than papyrus. Oh. But, uh, oh. uh, and it is in Normandy. Very well played. That was a good round from everyone. Yeah. Nicely done. Okay. Let's take a little look at what it's done to our scores. Lovely and close again today. Sarah and Sanjeev have three points each. Greg Wallace, five. Josie Long, one point in the lead with six. Nice, Eight. Josie. Our two Thank champions you. of the week are ahead once more. Three rounds to go. Our next round today is... It's all in the name. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to ask you some oh, questions. It's you, the answers it? It's you are too. all no, it's somewhere in the letters of your names. OK, the first two. You'll find the answers somewhere in the letters of Sarah Barron. A point if you give me a correct answer, two points if you get one on your own name. So, Sarah, you get two oh. points if you get one of these. Here's your first question. US agency responsible for the Apollo moon landings. Yes, Josie. NASA. NASA? It is NASA. Oh. Absolutely. Next one. 2013 UK number one single by Katy Perry. Yes, Sarah. Roar. Roar. Yeah. Two points. For Sarah. Yay! Come on. <laughs> it feels so bad for me. Nicely played. <laughs> the next two are in the letters of Greg Wallace. Greg, two points if you can get one of these. One point for anybody else. Music style originating from 1960s Jamaica that is synonymous with Bob Marley. Yes, that's Sanjeev. Reggae. Reggae. Sure. Reggae in his name. Absolutely. Next one. Bird featured on the national flag of Mexico. Yes, Sarah. Eagle. Eagle. Oh, you got reggae and eagle in your name. Pretty good. Mm. Like it. Could be a lot It'd worse. Even better if I could uh, yeah, if remember you that. From it, yeah. <laughs> Sanjeev. Okay. The next two are in Sanjeev Kohli. Track and field event in which Fatima Whitbread won two Olympic medals. Yes, Sanjeev. Javelin. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Boy. I've got javelin in my name. Javelin in my name. And I, I was today years, name. years old when I found out I had javelin in my name. Nice. Wow. Cool. That's impressive. <laughs> that great. Next one. California and Stella, a species of this type of eared seal. Yes, Josie. Is it sea lion? Sea lion? Wow, wow, it is. Sea lion and javelin. Sea lion and javelin, they call them. The final two are in the letters of Josie Long. OK. Largest military unit of ancient Rome, consisting of over 3,000 men. Yes, Greg. Legion. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> Legion, well done. And final question of the round. Dome-shaped shelter built from snow associated with the Inuit. Uh -huh. Yes, Josie. Um, igloo. Igloo. Double points, Josie. Well done, oh, Igloo. Well, that was That's the end of that round. I wonder what it has mm. done to our scores. Shook it up a bit. This is an interesting leaderboard, let me tell you that, because... Everybody has six points apart from Josie Whoa. Long. Whoa! How about that? That's nothing. Two rounds to go. Four points, a dangerous lead with two rounds to go, but a nice lead to have. Let's find out what round four is today. The nice round. Now, in the nice round, score points, but you can also give points to your opponents. Now, Sarah, we start with you. I want the other three to take out their tablets, please. They're going to see the name of a novel on their screen. They're going to write down one word to give you a clue as to what that novel is. OK. okay? So if you can get the novel from the three words you're given, you will score a point. You will then also give a point to the person who gives you the best clue. Oh, OK. One word. Yes, please. Help me out. So, Sarah, you've got to guess the name of a novel. You're yes. going to have three words to help you. Yes. Greg, the first word is... Moors. 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 OK. Sanjeev. This will be a massive word. help. 
Okay. Moors as well. <laughs> and <laughs> Moors. <laughs> Sarah, what do you think? I think the book is Wuthering Heights. Yeah. There we go. Brilliant. Well done. Absolutely. See, sometimes it's useful when people say the same words. You just think, oh, it can only right. be that Moors, Moors, Moors. Well played. A point to you. I'm not going to ask you to give away a point there because they were exactly the same word. So just a point to Sarah there. Oh. Greg, it is your turn now. You are going to have to guess a novel. You'll have three words to help you, and they will be written by Sarah, Sanjeev, and Josie. It's less stressful when you're the one guessing, Greg, isn't it? Oh, I think it's more stressful. Oh, is it? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because I never know the answers as well, so I always play along, huh? which is nice. Greg, you're going to try and guess the name of a novel. You have three words to help you. Sanjeev, the first word is? <sighs> McKellen. <gasps> McKellen. The next word, Josie. So I tried to make it Moors just for a bit of fun, but it's actually Mordor. Mordor. <laughs> and Sarah? Hobbit. Yeah, it's not The Hobbit. Uh, it is, uh, it's Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Who gets yeah. that point? Sometimes they fall into your lap, don't they? Who well, would give a point could, to you there? Could, do I have to give it to the person who I think was the most helpful with this? Or could I give it strategically? <gasps> Greg? It's up to you who you give the point to, and that's between cool. you nice. and your mirror oh. as to who you give the point Sarah, to. Sarah, you did brilliantly well there, mate. There, I was getting there, but that... I clinched it. I could see it you, in your eyes. Sarah, you I clinched it. I genuinely could. Yeah, you, you okay. and I, yeah, you got a point. So give the point to Sarah. Yes. There you go. Sarah okay. gets the point. Thanks. Sandy, you have to guess the name of a novel now. You'll have three words to help you. Ooh. Hmm. Gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm enjoying the murmurs, if nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, Sanjeev, you've got three words to work out the name of a novel, but which novel? Josie, the first word is? 101. 101. Sarah? <laughs> Future. Future. And Greg? 101. 101. <gasps> it's 1984. 1984? <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. Those are the two one oh ones. And you can point to the two 101s. Yeah. Oh, I've never read like... 1984. I don't understand the 101. Room 101. Room 101. The... Room 101. It's the room of your worst fear. I've... OK. Very well played, Sanjeev. So you got that and you gave points to Josie and to Greg. Josie, now your turn to guess a novel. OK. You have three words to help you. Guys, you know Josie's winning. <laughs> what if you write down really bad clues? Let's do it. Unbelievable. But then we don't. The game yeah. is called the nice game. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, everybody is in. Josie, you've got the name of a novel to guess. You've got three words to help you. Sarah, the first word is. Girl. Girl. Greg, next word. Yeah, very much the same. Woman. If he woman. has other, then I know it's not one book. Girl, woman. <laughs> right. Um, I've gone incredibly lateral. Oh, I can't see. Boris. Boris. Girl, woman, Boris. So I think you might be putting Boris because it's Boris Johnson. So Johnson maybe or Boris because it's like the Prime Minister. The fact that it's a girl and a woman makes me think that maybe the title is a woman's name. <laughs> is it Rebecca by Daphne? No. Is that your guess? Y yeah, it is, yeah. OK, I've got a guess. But... And it's because you said it must be a girl's name because you wrote Boris. Is it Carrie <sighs> by Stephen King? That would be so good. Do you want to know what it is? Yes, please. It's Rebecca. Rebecca. You got it! <laughs> it's Rebecca. Oh! <laughs> so could anyone work out the reasoning there? No. Well, I thought Carrie was a... You were barking, was... barking up the wrong Boris. It was Boris Becker. Oh! oh you're being <laughs> no, oh. Oh. Genuinely, you're I had no other reference point. Boris Becker, other... Rebecca. I was going to say girl or woman, but I thought, what, what kind of clue is that? So I thought, I'll just... Chuck oh. something else into the mix. <laughs> I guess you have to give a point to Sarah and Greg then. Oh, yes, I would, yeah, yeah. 100%. And I'm and sorry. No, 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 yeah, that's, yeah. that was... But listen, I mean, full marks for having a go at being lateral. And it was a, such a brilliant clue for Carrie. I'm genuinely gutted. Uh, that is the <laughs> end of that, that was round. That great. We have one round to go. Just uh, answer smash to come. And let's take a look at our scoreboards. Sanjeev, you have seven, nine for oh. Greg and Sarah. Josie, oh three-point oh. lead now. The lead narrowing. The lead is narrowing. One round to go. We know what that round is. It is. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
one point. Come on. Answer Good smash. Way. Come on. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. If you saw yesterday's show, that made a huge amount of difference. It really did swung the whole thing. Is it going to swing it again? Very best of luck, one and all. Your first category is... England footballers. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. Which US writer created the TV series Curb Your Enthusiasm in which he stars as a fictionalised version of himself? Yes, Josie. Larry David Beckham. Larry David Beckham. Oh. Absolutely right. Well Sorry. done, Larry David David Beckham. <laughs> Next one. Which city is the national capital of Australia? Cam yes. Raheem Sterling. Oh. Canberra Raheem Sterling. Well done. Wow. Yeah. Canberra Raheem wow. Sterling. Canberra and Raheem Sterling. Well played, Sanjeev. Wow. Brilliantly well done. Next one. In the 1968 film 2001 A Space Odyssey, the spaceship's computer is referred to by what three letter name? <laughs> yes, that is Sanjeev. Halix Jones. Halix Jones? Oh. Oh. Incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point. No one? So, Teddy? Yeah. Halix Scott. Oh. Oh. Mark Jones. Unlucky, the brilliant Sorry, Alex, Alex Scott. And how? Next category is. Cleaning supplies. Oh. Finally. Yes, <laughs> this is why I'm here. Finally. <laughs> what is the name of the red protein in the human body that carries oxygen in the blood? Yes, that's Sanjeev. Ah. Hemoglobin bags. Hemoglobin bags? <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Nice. That's lovely. Hemoglobin bag or globin liners, I take either. Next clue, next picture. Known for its peppery taste, which vegetable takes its name from the Latin for root? Yes, Josie. Radish cloth? Radish cloth? Brilliant. Oh, well done. Brilliant. I was just thinking of tea towel. <laughs> I couldn't get away from yeah, tea towel. Tea towel. Next category. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Another lovely show. I think we know who won it, though. It was beautifully played from start to finish. Our winner. On Monday, it was Josie Long. Our winner on Tuesday, Greg Wallace. Our winner on Wednesday... Josie Long, once oh. again. Josie with 14 points. Big score from everybody there. Josie, you won yourself another prize. Oh, I'm really thrilled. What is it that you would like? Gee, what a competition. Do you know, I really would like that cafetiere. I really would like it. Josie Long wins a golden cafetiere. Well done, Josie. Now, our weekly leaderboard after three shows. Let's take a look at where we are. It's very close. Whoa. Look at all of you. Sarah with six, Sanjeev with seven, Greg with nine, and Josie with ten. Four points between everyone. Two days to go, including double points Friday, wow. which is beginning to look like it might be all important this week. Another great day. Thank you all. Very, very much looking forward to tomorrow. See you all here. Same time, same place. We'll see you as well on the House of Games. Nice. <laughs> Everyone's going to be so jealous. Wow. What a life. <laughs> oh. <laughs>